Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the part 2 of this series. Part 1 has already been discussed and uploaded in the YouTube. I will give a link to that in the description. So let's begin with these 7 topics. So the first one is slicers. So here we have a pivot table for a actual price according to a salesperson. So click somewhere in the pivot table, go to pivot table settings and then insert slicer and select any of the columns which you want to filter as the region and items here they are so you can also reach resize them however you want you know and same for even this also yeah also you can also change the looks of the slicers we have many options here yeah something like that and uh, you just need one click and it will automatically filter everything for you and here you can also multiple uh, you can use multiple filters here as well okay so to remove these filters you just need to click this button and to select multiple uh, items just click this one and yeah keep on selecting whatever you want so you get these filters automatically so this is easier than using the traditional filter you know so that's what about uh, slicers okay so the next one is is number we will also do is text in this function itself so first what you have to do is just type is number i will tell you the use uh, later use of this function later is text this one and all you have to do is select this double click and you get everything here now this is useful where uh, you know there is a lot of data and uh, numbers can be manipulated easily now what will happen is uh, just you just keep a look at these things so i'll just put it a single quote here and this, change, this number changed into text and you cannot see it with your uh, you know just normally you cannot see it whether this is a number or a text you will feel this is a number but as per excel this is a text uh, so you can just uh, see here this is a text so there is something wrong in this and you can remove this yeah so this is where it is used when there is a lot of data you cannot manually check each and every data whether this is a number or not so uh, these both functions are actually usual in that uh, case so let's move on okay so we are going to create a simple and easy uh, dashboard here with this uh, data so we have a table of data here and first of all what we have to do we will do we will create a uh, pivot table so i'll just create it somewhere here in this uh, you know in this sheet itself actually it is not recommended to create a, a pivot table within the data itself you know uh, because you cannot extend the data or you may, you may have some restrictions to it so it's, better, it's always uh, advisable to use a separate sheet for pivot table here just for the an example i'm using it so i'll put it region city and total prices values and also i think i can take product as well yeah mm, take city out so what will happen you know you see region wise uh, product sales so this is actually great uh, also we need some more pivot tables you know but yeah we will do it with this, with this itself so we will create a you know column and you have something like this here some shots like this we will cut paste it here we will resize it also uh, even this sheets can be uh, you know removed it. so you will see only product wise sales and this is actually like a normal chart you can edit it very easily format and you will have everything as normal chart has so it's also same chart title legends and all uh, and next we will go with uh, another chart uh, you know so we will need to create another pivot or else maybe in this pivot to pivot itself we can do uh, so I'm not a fan of pi, uh, but yeah, let's try something. But it's also this will give the same data for you. So what you can do is uh, you need to create a different pivot, insert pivot table existing, and give it here. Okay. So let's do it. Uh, we'll go category, total price. Yeah, you can do city wise category also. Yeah, this looks much better and we will create a <coughs> chart for it mm, pie chart pie chart won't look good in this i think 
yeah so you can change it to some other maybe again column wise so here also you can remove the city and you will get you know uh, column wise cut paste it here resize it and this is all interactive you know you just need you add some data and it will uh, update it itself or maybe you just need to put data and refresh all and it will automatically refresh so mostly uh, i for me what i think is grid lines are not useful in dashboard so because it looks it needs to be look uh, you know clear i just put it here bring it down yeah so this is a simple dashboard you know this gives product wise and this gives category wise uh, data okay the next one is row filtering so we have a data here for which you can do filtering but uh, limitation of this is you can use only this uh, only in microsoft 365 or uh, excel online version you can use online version through one drive like i am using right now so first equal to filter filter is a very useful function is a newly added function in excel this is really great uh, select the data then select uh, which row you want it equals the constraint then comma you can give any term like this this is not a fruit or something like that whatever it is so you give apple it comes give banana it changes orange changes potato this is not a fruit tomato i guess this is not a fruit okay so this is about uh, row filtering you can also use this uh, use this function for, to you know column filter like a basic filtering which is actually useful and it uh, gives you the data separately not uh, filtering in the same data so you can have both your data as well as filtered data together uh, so the next one is what excel functions should a marketer use i have got many dms and uh, many replies on story of this question it's a very frequently asked questions so let me stay first one is table formatting what you do when you get a raw data convert the data into table just press ctrl t it will be converted into data within a second no need to do anything else and it is also easy to look and you can also do many more things with that table the next one is pivot tables this is one of the things which you can do with the table and cannot do with the raw data create a pivot table whenever you need to make a decision or whenever you need to find how many of uh, something are there how many of such data is available something like that next one is charting charting is a brilliant tool you can show it to uh, to end. you can use it to present your data in a visual manner uh, easier manner so that uh, many people can understand it easily uh, i have also created a video on dashboards already in uh, this video also a dedicated video on dashboard is coming soon on my youtube channel so stay tuned to that then count is count is can find a font if it's a function which has uh, which in which you can give many criteria to count how many number of item is there in the data for example how many red cars are there how many red bikes are there how many black bikes are there how many yellow bikes are there you can find it easily with that function next one is sum ifs but sum ifs you can find it is uh, equal it is same as count ifs just instead of counting it will show you the sum of the total like uh, sum of black bikes sum of red bikes yeah the next one is if statements if statements has three things the criteria value for true and value for false you can use the you can give criteria anything if this is equal to b then show me yes or show me no something i uh, also uh, there is a explanation of if in my previous uh, video you can check it out i'll put a link in the description for it concatenate concatenate is a very useful function when there is two different columns and you want to mix that you can use this concatenate function for example in the first column there is a first name in the second column there is the last name in the third column you can give concatenate equal to concatenate first name second name uh, last name and you will get the full name of the person next one is vlookup vlookup is used everywhere uh, you can find a data uh, where you can actually find a data in a table easily without actually using uh, find search and find you know control f many people say control f is easier than uh, vlookup yes it is easy but just if you want to do 
once then it is easy if you want to do a lot of times and there is a 30,000 names you want to relook up then you cannot use control F I have created a video about VLOOKUP up you can check it out next one is conditional formatting conditional formatting is very easy very simple and very useful just with a glance you can see uh, how many numbers are there about 3000 or 4000 and also if there are any duplicates it will just highlight it for you you can use that so this one is also frequently asked to me like, how do we use conditional formatting to format the entire row which contains a certain text for example in this case i want to highlight the entire row which contains the text orange which contains fruit orange so first we have to select the entire data condition formatting new rule select formula here dollar e5 is equals to orange now you can choose any color of yours i'll choose blue and a text to be white i'll keep done and you can see the entire row has been highlighted now what will happen is this is a dynamic so type orange here and it's highlighted remove orange from here and it's gone so it's very easy once again i'll show you the rule it's formula is dollar e5 is equals to the text so the last one is sum ifs so what we have to do here is what is the name income of all farmers who like the color black equals sum if the range is this one if you keep the criteria as black then the sum range is this one here you can see yes 69 you can change this to yellow as well so you can change it to any color and it will give you the sum if sum of all that colors So that's it for today guys, we'll meet in the next video, the next video is about dashboards, we're going to create a dedicated video on dashboard, so be ready to do that and sub to my channel, so you never miss that video. Bye guys.